Hello and welcome my friends back at MSI with TS versus Loud. It's going to be a quick 2-0 we have to assume but let's see maybe the Brazilians can do some crazy stuff. We're already starting in the fight let's get in and uh, yeah first blood for Jackie. Uh, I mean it's immediately answered kind of right one for one. Oh will someone else die? Okay can we get into the drafts? Well maybe we can maybe we can't. Uh, we have a Renekton and a monkey there. I mean, it's like every MSI so far. I mean, it's it's like all nearly always the same champions. Wukong, Renekton, uh, Nautilus. I mean, it was the same last year. I mean, these champions, uh, are they going to get away? Well, someone who's not getting away is obviously Loud's bot lane, right? They're getting cooked. Flash in. Mako is going to be the sacrificial Nautilus. Tien also probably flash over the wall there. Uh, yeah, more grubbies going into their hands. I mean, it's just going to increase their siege, which... Oh wait, flash forward. Mako flashes over the wall to devour, but can't really get that much distance. But still, Loud has run out of steam and yeah, they will be felled here. Didn't get the perfect angle, man. Like, even though TS was a bit sloppy in their defense of their mid laner there. But okay, okay. TP comes in. Robo still low. Okay, okay, route with the TP, man, that's also something you don't see every day, but uh, hey. picks up a kill, very big, right? In all the skirmishes, he uh, managed to stay safe. That's the shuffle. Cream, relatively low. Can Tin Owens get the kill? Oh my, oh my, he can't, but Jackie Love should fall, no? Okay, okay, are Loud actually doing it? Are they doing the Kaboom, the one and only Brazilian? Crazy place, Tin Owens goes in! Just cringe. But uh, hey, at least loud. Now, 7 to 7, right? Not the average Brazilian scoreline of uh, whatever. Uh, yeah, nice for them, nice for them. Neutral objectives not going in, in their favor. Uh, right here, the next one is being slain and collected by the TS lineups. Oh, the hook misses! But, come on, come on, you can't help him now. Get the 2 for 1 special with the Devourer. He's stuck in the wall. But Cream is still free hitting. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. And we also forgot the strongest champion in the game, the Ksante, right? I mean, ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Last game I watched, uh... Oh, wait a second. Big hook here. It's just, uh... Yeah, a bit cringe here. Croc getting knocked up, now you get a, a part of your own medicine. There is the 369 Cassante again in the backline, and that champion is just not balanced. Please remove. Hi, uh... Okay, let's see, let's see. Interesting flick. Goes into the backline, right? Robert. Redbird. Red. 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 Whatever. Uh, it's like, also tries to distract, but uh, yeah, without the jungler, like, there's no real steal, no? Anyway, uh, the game continues to be at least neck and neck in terms of the scoreline, but uh, yeah, slowly but surely TS is extending their lead. Right? You see the gold score yourself. Oh, maybe here TS finally. TS? What am I saying? Uh, yeah, TS finally gets caught, but uh, yeah, they don't get the kill onto TN. Will they at least get Mako? Yes, one for one also with the AD carry uh, there and uh, the jungler, whatever. Words, 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 uh, noises, and so on. Croc goes into backline, flashes out. Everything lags and looks ugly, but in the end, Xante wins. But uh, Kareem also sick play there. He did all of that without his ult. Pretty wild, but uh, yeah, Loud desperately trying to uh, to get a play. They don't get the initial kill onto Tian, baiting uh, Route into uh, the thick of things. And uh, yeah, another hook onto Mako. I don't know what Red Bird is uh, thinking there. I mean, Croc just like has no follow up whatsoever. Now Robo goes him on his own. He will get uh, the Senna, but I mean, I yeah, the coordination of Loud also not on point by uh, like for their engages there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, still like fighting, right? This is uh, this is something, right? It's like obviously Gam, right versus Fnatic, bit of a different uh, game in terms of like power uh, disparity between the regions, but. Right. Desperate uh, attempts by Loud actually working out to, to a decent extent, right? They're not getting like like smurfs on, they're not getting uh, creamed or like how TS fans call this stuff. 
but I can't. Nah, now the desperation makes them uh, look a bit silly at times, but next up, valiant effort for the first at least 20 minutes, right? Um, but also, like, many comfort picks given over to TS. Like, I don't know, man. Um, regardless, game number one now will uh, end any moment now. And uh, yeah, maybe Loud can get uh, something back in game number two when they. Uh, like, uh, yeah. Okay, flash hook. Old also onto the Senna. Old also by route. Like, finally, they can get the, the Xante Mans. Jeez, that champion. I mean, yeah, he can stack nearly full armor here uh, as long as Tinoan's right, the Talia is not hitting him. Like, he is A okay. Right, let's, let's see, now three man, four man attack onto the crocodile man. Phew, okay, flash away. Does he have some slices and dices? Gets the stun and gets the heal and he is slicing and dicing away. Is his team finally coming to help him? Yes is the answer, but will he get away or will he just drag them all down with him? So far the support is the victim. They get a devour croc, does he have something left? And they... What is that guy doing? Why is he recalling next to the team fight? Jesus Christ! What was that? You lost your guardian angel for nothing! Bro, like in the end, if he just died, like that would have been one kill, one death given over, but no! His team comes to help him and in the end he still dies and also gets the support killed. And cost this team summoner spells. It's wild. Okay, now I blanked. What happens here? Tien goes into the thick of things. Is he going to die? No, he gets the resurrection from the GA. Will probably heal up massively afterwards. Ay, 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 man. Tien, what? 7, 4, and 10. Okay, bro, 8. Good. Maybe he saw my ranking and says, like, bro, you put me in fifth place? Uh, yeah, okay, maybe I need uh, to be more familiar with his game. But uh, again, this is also. Big region versus uh, minor region. Maybe we have to uh, like hold our horses here a bit with TES performance. Still, Loud looked decently good, right? Would you agree? I would agree with myself on that statement. Let's see what they can do here in the next one. Uh, TN again on the more aggressive jungler here. Robo with the Zag top. Pretty interesting. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, his passive not really helping him. Too much first kill and first turret. Oh, actually, they didn't get that one at least yet. Not yet. Uh, oh, that's some damage. Flash forced out. But let's see what Jackie can do. Croc already a level down onto TN, right? Probably different by the Grubbies. Not even a bit more, right? Already early game looking kind of rough here. Will they get Jackie? The answer is yes. The dragon also comes over. That's another kill route. Arguably one of the better players. Getting some kills, flashing the ult here. Uh, but is it going to be enough? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, wild early game so far. Oh my, oh my, there were. Okay, flash combo and TN as long. Route 3 0. Crazy. I mean, it's like if you ever needed a setup for, to succeed here. Like, playing around route is now the answer, clearly. Hostile tank over being a bit annoying here. And, uh, yeah, mid lane difference also ebbing down. Okay, if you can't even win a fight around your 3 0. Uh, okay, who connects? Crazy. What the hell it was that? Cream, can he do anything here? Or is he just going to get felled? Who connects, right? Tin Owens gets that one. Cat, what do you want? Please calm down, we are recording YouTube video here. Again, Cream may be in trouble, or is he? He calls all his friends. Oh my, oh my, man. That's something, but now are they called in no man's land? Route here, dodge, sidesteps the uh, whatever it is, but now he's all alone, caught with a jungler. Actually, is he all alone? Tin Owens is coming over the top side of the fight already in shambles. Route has to flash away. And what looked like a good start for Loud turned on its head by decisive play by TES and uh, yeah, a bit of a delay in uh, Loud's rotation there. Like it was a, two, uh, what is it again? Uh, what the fuck is that guy doing? Tin Owens with the ult comes around, will TN fall? 
The answer should be yes here. Can they continue their fighting? Okay, interruption by Miko, but they have no mana, no nothing. But also not many more cooldowns. Oh, just short by it. Croco will probably get the kill in the end. Cat, please be quiet for like at least a couple more minutes. And the cat can't stand this gameplay. What, what is it about that? Okay, okay. I mean, cat has been taken care of. Let's just say that. And uh, I mean, exchanging here turrets. And I mean, there are some objective bounties for the for the loud squad. So that's at least worth something. Okay, replay here, picture in picture. Another turret falls for TES. So again, the gold lead is there for them, right? They also dominate the object, uh, uh, the neutral objectives. Uses their Rift Heralds right here in front of our eyes. Take another turret. So yeah, uh, similar to the Fnatic Gam series, right? Uh, the bigger... Re okay... Yeah, the bigger region plays the map better, even though the others are competitive in the fights. But uh, yeah, you're not, you, you can't be competitive in the fights if you like start them like that. Especially not when you're 5,000 gold down. Croc here still gets knocked up. Will he be able to get away? Nope. Cream flashes for that. Okay, okay. Baron is being started, Robo is engaged, nicely blocked, but oh, that looks like a big ult from Tin Owens. Can he do something else after? No, he is into it. What is that guy doing? Route also burns down or something like that. Oh my, oh my, man, Loud, you had such a high chance. Oh, quiet. Uh, you had such potential for a big play there, but... Uh, I think in the end, like, they panicked, right? They fumbled the back. <sighs> nice attempt there, but no, another Drake, another neutral objective goes over to the Chinese team. And, uh, yeah, we'll have to see here. Okay, that's Croc in the, what is that, backline side? Whatever it is, it's not enough. The assassin Orn comes through and that will be potentially the end of everything. Tin Owens is still doing a good amount of damage. Uh, yeah, Aurelian Soul looking mighty strong right now. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, this, uh, yeah, looks like another dominating performance by the major region teams, which, uh, yeah, so far have, uh, yeah, won all their matches, I guess, a spoiler. Uh, yeah, 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 that's the next one down, and, uh, yeah, this will be uh, a TES 2-0 victory. They're going to face Fnatic and that's going to be interesting. Even though we all should expect the Chinese to dominate Fnatic who, I mean, looked a bit more lost in comparison, right? Um, it's going to be interesting to see Loud versus Gam, right? That's going to be uh, like a truly interesting game. I think both had clear strong points uh, that they were able to manifest in their defeats. Um, and again, here we were seeing some nice brawling, but the gold deficit of 13,000 does indeed speak for itself. Um, yeah, I mean, again, this is just a yeah, messy gameplay. Doesn't matter. No, obviously it does not. TS end the game, end the series with a quick and clean 2-0. I mean, clean 12-13, 12-23, not maybe the cleanest, but... Like we saw the confidence, we saw the gameplay, TS in a control position like the entire time, uh, no worries there. Anyway, if you like this video, smack that subscribe button to not miss out on more MSI content in the future. Till then my friends, bye bye.